Hi, my name is Rajveer and welcome to Learn Weaved in a Day Sessions. Now, in this series of video, we are going to learn understanding drives, Ellen Bradley, PowerFlex 4 Alright, earlier we have done Delta Drive Weaved in the course. Now it's all about Ellen Bradley. Okay, so that's the drive in front of you. This is PowerFlex 4 Ellen Bradley Drive. Alright, and let's go step by step what we have in this course. And in this first video, we'll understand the various components of this drive and the wiring as well all right so if you see this drive uh, let's move ahead we are using uh, this VFD PowerFlex 4M which is 0.4 kilowatt so that's the capacity this is the capacity which can which is correlated with the motor capacity all right if you're driving your motor having a reading of 0.5 HP you should you should use this drive 0.4 kilowatt which is equal to 0.5 HP so it's 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 very necessary that your motor readings and your drive readings should match all right otherwise there's a conflection you should not connect your drive having lesser reading than your motor if your drive is having 1 HP reading and motor is 0.5 HP still you can run your motor that's safe provided you have entered the parameters in the drive that you are running 0.5 HP motors that is a provision for that and this drive had, has input voltage of 230 volts 1 by 3 phase which means it can be given single phase or three phase input output is 230 volt three phase all right that's the specification and if you see this formula it says motor direction proportional to frequency motor rpm is 120 f by p that's the frequency component so in three phase induction motor if you want to change the speed that's the formula we follow so which in which your frequency is directly related to your speed so what we do is we use this drive to change the frequency all right so if we change the frequency speed will change automatically because this is the number of poles it is difficult to change the poles earlier we used multiple poles drive but it's not required now because we have provision to change the frequency so that's the a little bit about our drive which we are using all right so now this drive has maximum operating range of 0 to 400 hertz so this is what this drive can output from the output terminals all right so now let's see the status screen now you can see over here as well okay this is the frequency commanded frequency it shows here okay this shows what is the present frequency command on your drive all right then you have motor run speed run stop indication that's the indication and if you cannot see that clearly here but it shows here right now motor is stop because this run LED is not on so motor is stop so when you press run from here this will start the motor you can see this LED here and that's the frequency command frequency 16.6 .6. all right that's the direction this is reverse if it is reverse this LED will be on so let me show you this is the reverse button when you press this one you see this is the reverse and that's the forward which is blinking which is getting off so that's the reverse direction if I press it again it will toggle the direction and move to the forward so motor will first go to zero then it will move to forward that's the forward direction then you have this parameter which says program so when you program any parameter like if I press this one and if I go to let's say P101 when I press enter when I press enter again when I press enter again hold on let me go to 106 if I press enter and change the parameter let's say I go for 8 which is my speed reference can you see this light this shows that you are going to program the drive so that's the program LED if you want to program this will show you a light all right let's go back to default and this LED over here which you can see named as fault this indicate when you have any fault in your drive all right this LED will be on and these are the keys to read and write the parameters this is increment decrement enter escape this is select okay five keys then you have one potentiometer to change the frequency command frequency you can change from here then you have start button stop button toggle directions these are the indications you can see in the slide voltage reading ampere reading and hertz reading right now the reading which is here it is hertz so that's why this hertz led is on if you want to see ampere in that case ampere led will be on and so on so that's the indication status screen all right so now what we have inside so if i open this cover from here you will find few circuits these are the different control terminals this has been highlighted in the slide so if you come here it shows control terminals these are the terminal by which you can turn on your drive from external source you can turn it off you can change the speed you can give you know 0 to 10 volt input to rotate 
the frequency to change the frequency from external potentiometer for example this one this can be linked to the drive by connecting these wires to one of these terminals which are those terminals we'll discuss in the later slides all right so you have here frequency feedback in many drives you may find frequency feedback an analog current input 4 to 20 milliampere which will change the frequency to 0 to 50 hertz or your maximum hertz then analog voltage input 0 to 10 volt to change the frequency of the drive again these are the control terminals all right and this port over here this is the rs rj45 port by which you can control your drive by mod bus applications using a plc okay then you have motor output terminals this is a three phase output terminals connected over there you'll find at the, at the bottom which is going to the motor so we have taken these terminals over here so right now we are having a supply coming to these terminals okay this this can be connected to motors by these three plugs here so we also have a motor here this is a three phase motor which can be connected to these three terminals all right and then we have three phase single phase this is the input this comes at the top over here this is a single phase or three phase input which can be connected to run your drive in many cases we used to connect contactor at the top over here but you can do that using mcb so in our case i'm using an mcb to turn on the drive all right so this was all about the wiring so we'll discuss again we'll discuss more about internal wiring what are the different control terminals what are the details of these terminals in the next video all right thanks for now